hello guys welcome to another video in this react series in this tutorial we'll be building an age calculator app using react.js as you can see here user can pick the date from this date picker and choose their birthday date and when they click on calculate age you can see that will calculate the age in years days and hours let's open the code editor and see how we can create this app in react.js here I have a dedicated component for this example and I have added or imported that one in our main component that is app.js. The first step in creating this app is we need to import the necessary libraries. So here I have imported the react library itself which is necessary for building react components. Next we have imported use state hook. So this is a react hook that allows us to add some state variables in our functional component. Next, let's add our functional component here. I have added functional component by name age calculator. Let's export this one so that we can use this one in our main component. For that one, you can add export default age calculator. Next, within this functional component, let's define some states. Here we have defined two states one is birthday and result. So this birthday is a state which will store user selected birthday and we have a function for setting or taking care of this state and we have initialized this one to empty string and similarly we have a result state which will store the result of age calculation for example 25 years 10 days 5 hours like that and this set result is the function which will help to manage state result next comes the main function that is for calculating the age here i have defined a function by name calculate age within this one i have added e dot prevent default this prevents the form from submitting and refreshing the page when user clicks on the calculate age button so this is a crucial step to use this for handling form submissions in react without reloading the page whenever user clicks on that button next let's add the date calculation logic here I've created two constant variables. Here we have created a JavaScript date object from the birthday string, which will allow us to work with the birthday and calculate the difference. And we are saving that one in a variable birthday. And today will represent the current date. Next, let's calculate the difference between the dates. For that one, use time difference is equals to today minus birthday. So this calculates the difference between today's date and user's birthday and the result will be in milliseconds so that will be saved in this time difference variable next let's calculate the age and month difference here initially we will estimate the age by subtracting the birth year from the current year and we will calculate the month difference between birthday and today too and the results we are storing in variables calculated age and month difference Next, we'll add some code to get the adjusted age. Here you can see if user entered a birthday this year, in those scenarios, we'll get the negative numbers for the month and the date. In that scenario, we are going to calculate the age by subtracting one from the calculated age for our accuracy. Next, let's add some code to get the years in milliseconds. Here years in millis that is the variable in which we are storing the calculated age by multiplying that one to the days, hours, 60 minutes and seconds and milliseconds. So we are using this calculation and the result which we are storing in this variable and the remaining millis after years will store the extra days which we get by differentiating the time differences which we were calculated earlier with the new variable which we have calculated now and the next step is to calculate the extra days for that one add the code extra days equals to math.flow here we got the remaining milliseconds after years we are dividing that one by 1000 milliseconds 3600 seconds and 24 hours next to get the actual days and hours differences we'll add two more calculations here here after calculating the days we are going to subtract that one in the variable which we have calculated earlier that is remaining milliseconds after years and the remaining milliseconds are divided by the number of milliseconds in an hour to calculate the remaining extra hours 
and the final and the final calculation in this function is to update the result for that one add the code here we are formatting the final result as a string to display that one in our application here we are attaching our message along with the calculation which we have done here so this gives the age then days and hours and as we have already defined a function by name set result to set the state of this result state we are calling that one and we are passing the result string to set the value in this result state now we are done with this logic now let's add jsx element within our functional component for that one scroll down here i have added the return statement and within this one we have added the main div which will consist all other jsx element we have added one heading by name age calculator at the top and then we have added one form which consists of a label by name enter your birthday and which have another element that is input we have defined the type of that element as date which will give us a date picker by using which user can select the date and the value which will be selected by the user that will be stored in the birthday this is a state which we have defined earlier here and whenever there is a change in the date whenever there is a date selected by the user by using the set birthday function this value will be stored to our birthday state next at the bottom we have added one button on click of this button this function will get called that is the calculated age which is the main logic which we have defined within this one all the logic will get calculated and the final result will be displayed now we are done with the logic to defining the jsx part now let's add some beautiful css to make the app look nice and modern for that one i have created a separate css for this example currently we don't have any code here let's add some css properties here here i have added some classes with the css properties for our entire form here Here age calculator container is the main container which uses the flexbox here to center the app vertically and horizontally within the viewport by using these and we have given some of the background color and font family which we have set to standard Arial and the text we have defined that one to this color and we have defined another class by name calculator box which styles the box by adding padding and rounded border by using border radius and some of the other properties similarly we have defined some classes for the header which we have defined in our jsx element and we have defined some of the classes or css styles for our form and the label within this form and then the date picker which we have provided for the user and we have defined the some of the css properties for the button as well and there you can see calculate button that is the css property or class for the button when user hovers on that one and finally we have defined some of the css for our result this is nothing but the text which we are showing it to the user and within that result we have header two that is for that one we have defined the color blue to highlight that one so these are the some of the css properties which we have defined for our component so let's save this one and import this one in our age calculator component for that one go to top and here add the import statement now let's save this component as we have already imported this one in our main component and i have ran this application already as soon as i save this one react auto compiles so let's go to browser to preview this one now you can see we got the form or our age calculator app here user can select their birthday using this date picker they can navigate to different months here or if they click on this year drop down they can navigate to different years and select the date and as soon as they click on calculate age you can observe the difference between today and that particular birthday that is given here so that's it now you have built an age calculator app using react.js and you got the knowledge how to style that one i hope this will helpful for your real time application building
so that's it guys for this video thanks for watching this if you have any questions or want to see more tutorials like this please let me know in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more coding tutorials